Hi, it is Thursday, July 30th, and our devotion today begins with a reading from the ninth chapter of Romans, beginning at the first verse. Paul writes, I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience confirms it by the Holy Spirit. I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart, for I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, comes the Messiah, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. This week's continuing theme of God's abundance, writes Pastor Beth Walk, shows up again in today's reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. Paul is reminding his readers that God gives and gives and gives. God gives the law, the traditions of worship, and the renewal of God's promises. God is a giver. First and foremost, God gives us God's unending love. Paul is convicted here to announce this good news, to share it, to let those for whom it is given know they are included in these promises. Everything we have is a gift from God. In that constant awareness, we can live with gratitude. We will worship together again face to face, she writes. But it's important to remember that wherever we happen to be, we have an opportunity for praise and worship. And our God is present everywhere. Let us pray. Eternal God, thank you for the gifts you have so freely given us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who leads us in the truth. Thank you for your constant presence with us. Help us to share your love and your promises in word and deed with all those we meet. Amen. <clears throat>